Hi, Hiram here. Yesterday I did a video on this Trangia Triangle where I showed how I modified it or made a modification to it by adding a can lid so that I could burn solid fuel in here instead of the uh, Trangia burners. And I used a an Espit cube. Now around here, for some reason, Espit cubes are kind of hard to come by. In the local L.L. Bean store, they carry things called Grabber Outdoors solid fuel tablets. There's also, not quite as close, but I can get uh, Coglin fuel tablets at a sporting goods store about, what, 20 miles away from here. So I've used these. But I bought these at the local L.L. Bean store, and I wanted to see how these compare to Espit. They're about the same size just rectangular cubes kind of look the same a little rougher made no embossing or anything on it uh, I'll give the dimensions down below and this weighs 13.9 grams whereas the Espit weighs uh, 14 grams maybe 14.1 or 2 grams for the ones that I've had so far but this one weighs 13.9 so that'll just go in there just like so but I'm going to do a little test here to see how they compare as far as boil times and run out times. So let me get some water prepped and I'll be right back for a test. Okay, I've got two cups of water at 60 degrees. I scraped the top of the, the tablet a little bit to get some loose crumbs there. It seems to help for lighting solid fuel to do that. Let's light this. Of course, it's not helping the light, this one. Let's see if I can hit it from the corner. Okay, there's one corner. For some reason, putting the crumbs on top didn't seem to help to light this. So the two corners are lit. So you can see that. Okay, that's going. So two cups of water at 60 degrees. And let's see how long this takes to get to a boil. Okay, we're now at the two minute mark. The temperature's up to about 104, 105 and rising. I don't know if you can see it from this camera, but this is quite a large flame. The uh, whole cube is enveloped in, in flame. It smells, I don't know, not quite as bad as Espit, but there is a smell to it. So, let's see how long this takes to get to a boil. There we have 210, 211, 212 and 5 minutes 54. Okay, let's see how long it runs now till burnout. Okay, their temperature just dropped, let's say at 1223. Still a little bit of flame in there, just a little bit. Let me see here. Let me empty this out. I don't know if you can see, just a little bit of flame there still going. Yikes. Okay. Pardon my elbow there. So with this one, two cups of water starting at 60 degrees came to a boil in 5 minutes 54 seconds. With the Espit, it was 2 cups of water, 60 degrees, came to a boil in 6 minutes 1 second. So this is what, 7 seconds faster. Wow. Then run out on this today was 12 minutes 23. On the Espit, it was 11 minutes 5 seconds. So that's a little bit better than a minute longer, it still burned. Now as far as the underside of the pots, very sooty. Uh, I don't see any big buildup like on uh, with the Espit there was some really crusty stuff here. This kind of just looks like soot. So that'll wash off. As far as prices between the two of these, they're the same for what I got them at. Uh, 12 tablets for $5.95. 
And that's what I paid for the S, but also 12 tablets, five ninety-five. So I don't know, I guess they're somewhat comparable. Burn about the same, burn a little bit longer. But this was huge flames coming out of this thing. I was surprised at that. Maybe I'll do a side-by-side -side comparison of flames if anybody's interested in it. But that's the uh, Grabber Outdoor Solid Fuel Tablets. Now on the packet, I was just noticing this while I'm sitting here having nothing else to do. On the, uh, they're individually wrapped just like the Espinar. It says rations. R-A-T-I-O-N-Z. I wonder if they're made by somebody else. I'll have to look up that name and see if I can find anything on the internet. It's a registered name. R-A-T-I-O-N-Z. But that's the Grabber Fuel Tablet. Uh, I forgot to say, room temperature 58, humidity 46. It's uh, cloudy out and a little breezy. Again, I'll leave the dimensions down below, the weights, the width, depth, all that stuff. But I thank you for watching. I look forward to your input, questions, remarks, helpful suggestions. Let me know if you've used this stuff. And as always, watch for my buddy Max. Bye now.